guys, it's Jasma, and I'm back with another pumpkin recipe for you all. Today we're gonna make pumpkin risotto, which is a delicious dish with a ton of beautiful flavors and a gorgeous color, which is perfect for fall. It's a very healthy dish and also quite quick to prepare because we're going to be utilizing leftover brown rice to make this dish rather than doing it the traditional version. I think this is a lot more convenient for many people who may not have a ton of time to cook but still want a really warm and comforting dish. So let's get started. First, let's prepare our ingredients. I have a piece of fresh pumpkin here. You can also use squash if you would like, and then you can adjust the amount that you add to the recipe depending on your personal preference. Cut up the pumpkin, then peel away the skin, which is quite hard, so be careful while you're doing this, then dice into small cubes. Measure after you complete this process. Then finally chop half an onion, and mince one clove of garlic. You can also add more if you'd like. Now we can begin to cook. So I have my pan here. I'm gonna turn the heat onto high. Let this become slightly warm and then I'm gonna add it in my butter. I'm using salted butter here today, but you can also use unsalted if you would like. Then add in the pumpkin. Cook the pumpkin until it becomes tender and you can poke it with a fork and it easily goes through, but do not overcook this because it will become mushy. Reserve one third of this mixture and transfer the rest into a blender where we're going to puree this with some chicken broth. You can also just use water or any sort of stock you'd like. Blend until this mixture is completely smooth. The puree is now ready so I set it aside and we can begin to cook everything together. First I'm going to wash a little bit of fresh sage. Unfortunately this time of the year my garden is no longer producing fresh herbs so I had to get it from the store. But sage smells really really great and it adds a ton of flavor to this dish. So I'm going to clean this first and then dry it off before we fry it. I'm going to turn the heat up once again and add in my butter. Add in your leaves of sage and fry it until it becomes slightly crispy, but make sure you do not burn it. Slightly shake off the excess butter from the sage leaves and place on a plate and set aside. Then in the same pan, add in the onion and the garlic. The butter should be slightly browned by now, so the combination of the sage and the browned butter, the onion and the garlic all together smells absolutely amazing. You want to lightly saute this, add in the brown rice, and then give everything a mix until it's combined. As I mentioned before, I'm using leftover cooked brown rice in this recipe. I think it's quite suitable because the traditional version of risotto, you wouldn't cook the very specific type of rice you would have to use all the way. So it has quite a chewy texture and I think brown rice actually resembles that really well. It's also very healthy and if you use cooked brown rice, then it makes this whole process a lot faster because if you need to use raw rice and you have to cook it from the very start, it takes at least 20 to 25 minutes. But if you have it already Already cooked it cuts the time at least in half and you can have a bowl of really warm risotto in no time but of course you can also use whatever type of rice you'd like make sure you do not overcook the rice because we still want to maintain uh, a slight chewy texture to it so you don't want to make it overly soft now we can add in the pumpkin puree turn the heat down to medium here because you don't want to overcook this you don't need the pumpkin puree to become uh, really thick and fully absorbed by the rice then to this add in the pumpkin some grated Parmesan cheese, the fried sage from earlier, and I just briefly chopped up the big bits and I left some smaller ones for garnish later on. And we're also going to add in some salt to taste and a pinch of nutmeg just for that extra bit of flavor. Give everything a mix and you're ready to take this off the heat. To serve, transfer your risotto into a plate. This is where you're going to want to whip out your fancy dinnerware that you keep stored for nice occasions because I find that a fancy plate can really elevate this dish. I've sliced up some Parmesan cheese. You don't want these slices to be too thick or too thin. And then just stand it up inside of your risotto. This step is obviously optional, but I find that it's a really nice touch to add. And finally, end off with your fried sage leaves and this is ready to be eaten. That's it with this video. I really hope that you enjoyed my take on pumpkin risotto. It is a little bit different from the traditional Italian version, but that's kind of just what my channel is about. I love to explore different types of cuisines and add my own little touches to it. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thanks for watching this video and see you guys next time. First try, mommy. Oop.
Okay, really nothing much to say other than the fact that this is a very yummy dish that you should make. <laughs>